Schwartz. And Emory, if you know anything about football, it's got to be about if you're going to do well, you got to have some uh, talent at the quarterback position. We've got a slew of that here today on tap for these fans here today. A great bit of talent at the quarterback position, Josh. And I think when you look at this game in totality, you'll be impressed with what we've been able to, to acquire here in this top football. Been at practice all week, and these guys have really hadn't really separated themselves, so we should see a good competition battle going throughout this ball game. You talk about guys like Brandon Cozart and Anu Solomon and Danny Etling, guys who've had great careers over their four-year career. This is a lot of talent here, as you see on the screen here, a lot of talent here at that quarterback position. Yeah, Patrick O'Brien out of Catawba College is a guy that was very intriguing coming in. He played at three different colleges, so he's well-traveled, but this week I thought he put on a, an impressive show, and Daquan Neal, kind of a jack-of-all-trades type of a player, played wide zone. I liked how he was able to come out here and compete throughout the course of the week. You saw him the first one out there. Uh, worked on his routes, working on his craft. Then he got back into practice and was still doing the same thing, hustle guy. So you like how he came here with, with it on his mind to come out here and work it and make a name for himself. The number for Patrick O'Brien out of Division II, Catawba College. He'll have it second down and 10 from the 21. O'Brien throws over the middle. Catch me. Patrick O'Brien, you saw his statistics. He also played at UNC Pembroke. But I thought he looked the best out of the three quarterbacks on the national team uh, this week. Um, he's a guy that definitely has some interest. 6'3", 6'2"-ish, uh, about 225. O'Brien will work from the gun on his third and 10. Rolls over the middle, got a man wide open. First down as that pass goes into Pharaoh McKeever out of Florida International. Another player, local guy coming from the Miami area that had a lot of fanfare coming in and we saw him working across the middle of the field. These were passes that he dropped early in the week. But he made that catch and got the first down to help move this offense down the field. First and 10 for the national squad after the game of 16 out to the 37 yard line. And I at the bottom of the screen, number two. Jared Beard. He was the most impressive receiver I thought all week long for this national team. O'Brien, oh, there's, there's that man on it about three. From around the 44 yard line. O'Brien hands off to Robinson. Robinson with Rome. Robinson turning on the Jets. Breaking the tackle. Down and 10 from the 36 yard line. O'Brien oh, back to pass again. Got a man, catch made in traffic down to the 10 yard line. Catching it between two defenders is the old Miss Rebel. You saw right there, going up and getting the football in between two defenders. Nobody's going to take a shot. But that's nice. O'Brien throwing, catch made. Also, you saw him move a lot better with, with O'Brien back there as quarterback. You see him be uh, able to work the football deep down the field, and that's something that has been missing. From this offensive attack, especially the past few weeks here. 6'1", 220 out of Kentucky Wesleyan has his second. O'Brien throwing slants inside, incomplete. I was looking for Charles Nelson on the slant. That pass broken up by Zykeus Cannon out of Louisville. I thought Cannon played well all week long as, as, as well, but you, you look at a guy in Charles Nelson, I believe he has to catch that football. That hit him right in the hands, boom, you got to make that grab. That's a pro catch in a tight window. Good throw right here by O'Brien. Back to pass is O'Brien. Takes a deep shot, looks for a man, incomplete. We're looking for Charles Nelson. Flag's going to get thrown. Yeah, he had the inside of the jersey. Otherwise, Nelson would have had a touchdown because good read by O'Brien, and he, he was able to split that seam uh, in between the safety and corner, and O'Brien saw it right away. But good job by the defender giving up 15 as opposed to giving up the front of the room at 6'4", which is a take that option in the passing game. Second and five from the 24. O'Brien takes out a low snap. Rolls over the middle and catches made. It's a first down for the American team. O'Brien coming back into the game as at quarterback, the quarter, uh, the pass route of Catawba uh, coming in, see if they can push this ball vertically downfield. They probably found their best success offensively with him at quarterback for this national squad. I believe so too. First and 10 from the 19 yard line. O'Brien will work from the gun. Handoff on the delayed draw. 